So right now we're going to go ahead and do a very quick and easy project. Um, my R9390 Sapphire Nitro card has been getting a little warm. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take off the back plate, the heat sink, and put some new paste on it. Um, this job's fairly easy. All you need as far as tools goes is um, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver. That should go ahead and do most of the work there. Um, but you also need your thermal paste. You'll need some alcohol, a couple of towels, and then lastly, uh, just some air duster or however it is that you prefer to do that. Some people use the air compressors to blow out air. Um, either way is fine, completely up to you. Uh, so the first thing we should do is go ahead and blow out some extra dirt. So you wanna go ahead and go through the, through the fins there of the heat sink. just blow off the excess that's uh let's wait for the helicopter and back to it so for starters all you got to do here is um, take off pretty much every screw you see up here you don't necessarily need to uh, organize them as they're all about the same size but um you just go ahead and put them to the side so one and 12. And then we want to go ahead and take off the four screws here. Now with these, they're actually going to be um, a little different. The 12 that go around the line are going to be these longer ones. These four are going to be shorter. So definitely keep those four separate. These four are short. These 12 are longer ones. Um, so don't get those confused. They're, they both have little springs on them just for tension. So we'll go ahead and take those out here. And then we can go ahead and start taking the back plate off. Um, so for this, we just have to pull it. There's a little strip of adhesive. I think it's here or here. Um, regardless, just go ahead and gently pry it off. Don't use too much force, just enough to get it to come off. And as you can see, it's starting to come off. And there it is. Um, so it just uses this, it uses this very gooey adhesive. Um, so don't touch that with your fingers. Just try and keep that as sticky as possible. So for now, we just put that to the side and um, that's where it was stuck to as far as with, with the adhesive. And then last thing we need to do is pull off the heat. Oh, forgot I had something in there. Last thing we need to do is pull off the heat sink and the fans. And that one is very easy. Once you got the back plate off, you're pretty much almost all the way there. The next thing you got to do is um, there's three screws. There's two here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Screw, this screw, and then lastly, this one. There's only three screws you got to worry about. That's it. Um, so then we'll go ahead and hopefully the screwdriver should do it. Focus on that part. We'll take... One. Two. Go ahead and make sure you don't lose those. And then the last one is this one in the center. Right there. That last one right there. We'll go ahead and take that one out. And once that's out, we're pretty much there. Um, all you gotta do at this point 
is go ahead and pry apart the graphics card from, I mean the heatsink fan from the PCB. For this, I just gotta go ahead and gently pry off here. Anywhere you like really. Um, it's already loose, so just keep prying slowly and eventually with a little bit of force, it'll go ahead and come off. Now at this point, be very careful, you have a connector right here that you wanna go ahead and remove just for the sake of not ruining everything. Um, so we'll go ahead and just pull that off just for the sake of saving the fans. Um, you could leave them on and work with it. That would be fine as well, but just for safety's sake, let's pull off the fan and then there you go. So at this point, all you need to do is, uh, since everything's exposed, we're not gonna go any further here. This is all we need to do, all we need to take care of. We just need to clean up the existing paste off of both of these. It's already kind of hard, so that might be why it was heating up on me. So you just gotta clean up the existing paste and my method, which has uh, to this day never let me down, is some alcohol and a paper towel. Make sure you got a paper towel that isn't gonna flake on you, um, just for cleanliness sake. Take the tip that you just dabbed in alcohol, and then we'll start with the fan here. We'll go ahead and just, with a little bit of pressure, just apply it and it just starts coming off. And um, you just go ahead and dab a different point of the napkin with some alcohol and then just go ahead and get back in there, rub it down nice and well. The reason I prefer paper towels over cotton swabs, which is common, um, is just the cleanup method. I feel like cotton swabs sometimes leave behind different residues or like fibers and uh, kind of annoying, but it's up to you, however you wanna go ahead and do it. We'll go ahead and clean this part up too. When it comes to the chips themselves, I'm a little bit more, um, like I pay a little bit more attention to the edges here just to take off the residual right around the tip. You just wanna go ahead and just get a nice little sharp tip going with your paper. Just clean around the edges, just to be thorough. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and give it one more alcohol dab and one more wipe down. And uh, that should just about do it. There is a little bit of um, paste left over there, but without getting too involved, with the cleaning process here, uh, it's gonna be fine. It's not gonna affect our temperatures at all. Um, so then you go ahead and take your paste of choice. I'll be using Noctua um, NTH1. And here you can use whichever method you prefer. I know there's a whole debate about methods. I always use the same one, which is just a little bit in the middle right there. Kind of like a little pea-sized drop. Put that there and then we'll come over here plug in our fan and once the fan is in and secure you can go ahead and just start putting it back together um, the easiest way to do is to align these four pins right here with the openings back here. Um, that's gonna be the most accurate way to do that. Technical difficulties, a little uh, thermal strip right here came a little loose, so we're just gonna make sure that's nice and in there. Or better yet, we'll just lay it on this part.
not the prettiest, but it's going to be 100% fine. And again, come in and align those four dots right here with the four up here. And that'll look, you can see through the top, uh, the threading and that's in pretty much from here. You want to make sure that all of your um, threads are aligned to where they were in the first place and they are. Uh, so a little bit of a trick here. You don't necessarily have to wait to put this on to secure, to put the back plate on to secure the PCB to the heatsink. At this point, you can go ahead and put the four screws for the chip. Go ahead and put those in the shorter, short thread silver screws instead of the gunmetal long ones. Put those in there. That right there. And now your heatsink is mostly attached to your PCB. From this point, you can you know pick it up, and it's safe to pick up. But we want to go ahead and attach the back plate. Um, if you don't want to use a back plate, or if you're swapping out the back plate, you just go ahead and you know screw in at the points here. Um, but we do have the back plate; we may as well use it. There is a version of this card, and there's many other cards that don't have this back plate. At which point, you can just install the 12 screws, or however many screws you have. But of course, we're going to use our back plate. So we'll just align those with the threading here. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and do these 12. Starting with, well, actually, let's start with the inside. So our back plate's back on, car's put back together. One last thing, don't forget to put these screws right. Uh, should be clear enough. Right here where they belong. One, two, three. Make sure you replace those. Do not forget about those. It's going to be two longer ones on the top there. Well, 
one. Two. These are the longer ones. And then the short stubby one, this last silver one, put it right here. And that's it, done. You have successfully, go back right there. You have repasted your 390 Sapphire and you're ready to go ahead and put it back in and get your game on. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped.